What's up, Roaster Barbell? So I took a video in slow-mo of you guys yesterday, about 20 of you, and I put together a little compilation of technique on the ski erg. So I want to look at some different techniques that some of you guys used. We started with Aaron. Uh, this was the beginning of the conversation with everybody um, for the day. So let's jump forward here. Now you can see uh, Michelle's hands right away are starting very, very low. Um, I'm going to give two pulls for each of you guys so you guys can see, but she stands nice and tall. That's awesome. And, but then she's only moving from the shoulder and her hands are below her elbows almost immediately, which is giving her almost no leverage to use her long frame to really push down. Justin does a great job here of really dropping his body weight and using his body weight to fall into each pull. He does a good job of dropping his elbow and keeping his fist over his elbow until the last moment where he finishes down at the bottom. It seems like he's coming up with his chest while his hands are still going down though. So looking at Tom, Tom does a great job of using his long frame to leverage. He's engaged lats and uh, shoulders, keeping that nice and firm, finishing with a uh, tricep extension. Pops up on his toes a little bit at the top extension, drops those elbows with aggression and punches down to the floor that one i think he punched a little bit far back i'd like to see him a little bit more down here we have a great example of leading with the elbows um, we could probably drop that chest a little bit but honestly i use this technique um, keeping my chest up um, it's a little bit easier to protect your back this way um, being a lighter athlete it is difficult to really drop that weight but i think she's doing a great job here of leading with the elbow Brian did a great job. Uh, I think he's, uh, he could use a little bit more shoulder engagement. It looks like his elbow is actually getting higher than his head. Let's see if he does in the second one. Mm, a little bit. So his elbow is right about at his ear. I wouldn't want to see it any higher than that. But he does a good job of leading with the elbow. Amanda... Amanda's probably being a little protective just on her back as far as not doing anything uh, too crazy with her spine, but she's doing a great job. She's keeping her hips very high, though. She could drop down with her hips a little bit on this ski, but overall, she's leading with the elbow uh, and finishing with her hands. Not a terrible job here at all. Not bad. All right, so we have a good example here of arms being a little bit straight and then really pushing down from the shoulder. Um, Dan's a little bit new to the community, which is fine. So this is a machine that he's going to get used to, but he's very, uh, shoulder dominant here with his, uh, ski or technique. We'd like to see a little bit more weight drop and then leading with the elbow. Radu. Radu, not bad. Leading with the elbow, but it looks like his hands are actually getting like behind his ear here. Elbows lead, not bad, but the, the, I would like to see the hands out in front just a little bit more. I think that would help him out tremendously. Tori, similar to Dan, uh, Tori has completely straight arms here. Um, we would love to see her elbows bend and really drive the elbow down to the floor. Um, she does a good job of getting nice and tall here. She could reach up a little bit higher and really elongate uh, that range of motion uh, and extend it at the top. David Flagel. Pretty good job. Uh, very similar to Brian Veek where he's got his elbow very close to his ear. But I, I'm not going to say that that's wrong. I would say that that's probably as high as I'd like his elbows to get. He does a good job of finishing at the bottom with some velocity. Matt, very long frame. Matt could probably use his body weight to his advantage a little bit better. His hips are staying very high. And they don't seem to drop down whatsoever. So he's very heavy with the flexion. I'd like to see his elbows. Elbows are actually not bad. Hands are not bad. But I would like to see him use his body weight a little bit more. Um, bigger athletes can usually use their weight to their advantage. Ryan does a great job. His elbows are in good position relative to his face and his ears. Uh, he finishes uh, with a tricep extension. He's real good at having a very aggressive flexion. Again, Brian, um, Ryan could probably use a little bit more body weight dropping into it. 
Ben, pretty good. Ben, again, I think is um, being a little bit protective of his spine here. So he's keeping his chest up at the finish, which is definitely perfectly fine. I do the same thing. He's doing a good job. His hips are dropping. He's using his body weight, finishing with the tricep extension, leading with the elbows. Not a bad job here. All right, Matt does an excellent job of creating some leverage here and really dropping his elbow, finishing strong uh, with a very quick end to his pull. He gets up nice and tall. He's really relaxed in between pulls, which is probably very important. Controlling his stroke rate. Very aggressive flexion, dropping the elbows down. Uh, his uh, elbows just about at his ear, which is, again, not any... Uh, I wouldn't want to see it any higher than that. Justin, good job dropping his body weight into this stroke, finishing elbow extension, almost perfect extension there. Nice and relaxed in between. Could probably bounce up on his toes a little bit there. Uh, good finish. Overall, pretty good job there. Amber. Amber, I, I think I remember seeing a lot of movement in spine. Elbows are very high. Elbows are actually behind her head there. Um, and also that very end of the stroke, she could probably, um, be a little bit more patient. I think her body is coming up while her hands are still going down. But the big thing here is her elbows are very, very high. Um, and that's going to lead to putting a lot of that tension back through her back. Um, Andre's got pretty low elbows, actually opposite of, uh, what Amber was doing. Let's see what he does in between here. Relaxed hands. I like that. Good extension, could probably pop up on his toes a little bit. Not bad, um, but definitely opposite of Amber. Uh, he likes to keep his elbows much, much lower. Here we go, Mike. Very similar to Andres. Could probably drop your body weight here a little bit. Hips were pretty much exactly the same the whole time. If we drop those hips down right about now, you're gonna be getting a little bit more power behind those strokes. Decent patience at the bottom. Keeping the chest down as she as he finishes. Megan, good job dropping body weight. Body was moving up as the hands were finishing. Could probably get a little bit more power out of the end of that range of motion. Let's see in between. Up on the toes, I like that. Elbows drop, that's good. Uh, I think hands are a little too close to the body. I think hands, if they got a little bit out in front, uh, might help you here. Uh, Christina would probably benefit from standing up in between these strokes and looking at maybe getting a little bit more vertical. Um, excellent job of dropping body weight though. Uh, head or the chin tucked down um, is probably not um, an amazing feeling, but overall not a bad job there. 